What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So we are continuing on where we left off last time, more or less. Um, so first of all, we're going to go do a Margoria barter run. And yeah, so I could show you what it's all about. We got our materials ready and about to do a money run. Nowadays, like, doing Margoria barter runs is not, not that bad, but it's just less money. But it's, like, very little effort. So, if you haven't watched last episode, we basically did some more bartering. And, uh, you guys can see what it's all about. So, in theory, I think... If I remember correctly, wait, hold up. What is this? I love how they make yellow text that I can't even hold up. I'm trying to read this. Yellow text something dialogue. I can't even read it. It's too bright. But anyway, um, so where our barters are today are here, this middle one, here, Lantinia, Incomplete, Shipwreck Cargo, Relic, and this one. I don't remember what it is. Hopefully you are all doing well. Tomorrow is a big day, so today we're just doing chill stuff. Tomorrow we get class reboots, and uh, give me a little bit of time, and I'll see if I can make a guide um, for the updated stuff, and or just take a quick look at it and give you my first impressions. <clears throat> but overall, since I do play a Succession Dark Knight, I do believe it'll be pretty solid from what I've read in the notes already, but we get to actually try it tomorrow. Pretty awesome stuff. Um, aside from that, we got season, uh, the winter season starting, so that's pretty cool, I think. I don't know what I'll play. Maybe a... Either a Nova or a Guardian again. Not really sure what I want to do. Just watch some dude fail, like... Tet and he's croning it, which is. Oh god, wait, what are you doing? Are you really croning the free one? That's not. That's not good. Don't do that. Not that croning Tet in general is good, but. Hey, got it after 11 tries. Let's go. But yeah. Don't know what I want to play tomorrow. Probably a guardian. Speaking of that, I should probably make... Or is that thing still on sale? The character slot? Please tell me it's on sale. So I can buy it. Uh, I don't think it's on sale anymore. Unlucky. I should have bought it when I had a chance. What is that? Oh, it is on sale. Nice. What is all this? Daily enhancement set? It's pretty good. If I remember to buy it later.
Alright, let me actually see what this is. Is it dialogue? Is it a quest? Wharf manager. <clears throat> Not enough money. Gonna be honest, I thought that said Naruto for a second. I was like, wait, hold up. What is on this island? Is there anything special? Is there, like, a node? I'd like to think I would see the node manager if there was one. Sometimes I, uh... I don't see it. <clears throat> Nope, I don't think so. But it's not that hard to get back here if I needed to. What is this? Fisher's elixir. Fishing speed increase. Fishing. Uh, okay, so now that we're going in Margoria. Alright, so... For all of you new players out here, and you're looking to get into Margoria stuff in general, obviously you won't have a Carrick, but I could try to teach you like basic things I've learned on the way. Um, so where do I start? Okay, so let's say you start over here. This is um, like the central area where you pick up dailies and stuff, right? So what you do, or what you should know, is look at this. So over here is the wind and uh, water tides and stuff, right? So basically, the lower the number, the better. Um, it goes from white to green, blue, and then red, and then maybe something after that, I don't know. But what you have to really know is lower the number, the better, and you see the little like yellow arrows going up uh, or it's not really up but just in general like the that's the direction the wind is going and what you have to do is kind of just know how the wind goes on everything so unlike in the mainland where there's really no currents out in the ocean if you Unless they changed it over the past year, unless you go um, a certain route, it should be fine. So what you're going to, let's say you start over here, right? Aquila Island. If you go from left to right, so let's say you're over here, and then you go to the right, it's a little bit slower than if you were to go right to left. So what we're going to do is... Um, go upwards and it's not that bad <clears throat> basically my targets are over here here 
uh, here, here, and here. Those are my barter locations. And make sure to set your thing so the like flag mass thingy is up. So, basically, this is the way you go to Vel as well. So, if you're going to Vel, you start from here and just go straight up. And then that's where Vel would be. So, as you guys can see right now, it's blue. Blue is bad. Anything, like, at 420. So, it's, it's a really high number. That's all you really need to know. And the wind is going that way. So if we go straight up, it's not too bad. We're just going like, no matter how you go, you'll get to your destination eventually. But if you're trying to like min max time, kind of have to like more or less pay attention. It's hard to explain this in a way that makes sense if you have no idea. Like if you're a new, there should be, uh, I don't know. There used to be like a grid or something that you could toggle on. Unless they changed that. Either way, uh, just you can Google it, and there's like there'll be a map of this with a grid on it, and then it'll just tell you like what areas you have to be in to have like a different wind direction and current number. But just from a general experience, if you start from here and just go straight up, and um, let's say you're doing full barters, you would start here, go here, and then over here. From this one, make that one to go right, and then back would be faster. Then up, and then do your counterclockwise circle. Also, some of you guys asked me, um, how do you do <clears throat> the dailies out here? So, if you're doing the Hecaru and Ocean Stalkers, you really just go, like, out here, and then you'll get those two. If you're doing the other ones, which is the Nine Shark, Rust, and I think there's one more. Rust, Nine Shark, and something else. By the way, I still ne have never done this. I know, like, you get another crystal piece for your boat, but I really just don't sail as much. And my guildies, who actually have full, like, maxed out boat gear, they're just like, yeah, it's not really worth it. Just get a crystal and you're good. If we go uh, and find a sea monster, I'll show you like how to do it, I guess. We'll for sure find one going up in the route. 
If you want, you could watch my hour grind video for uh, saltwater crocodiles. It's not really the most exciting thing, but if you want to learn how to do it, you really just have to maneuver. Keep in mind, mine is a little different because I chose the Valor, which is basically the damage PvP boat, even though PvP is dead <laughs> uh, for bartering and ocean content. Skipping this one. Also, if you don't have a compass, the best way to figure out where you're going is, like, if you find one of these, just know, like, what they look like. And then, after that, it'll, it'll be easy to figure it out. So, like, we're going to stop at the next one if you knew what that one looked like. Keep in mind, the icon is a little bit further below, like, the actual in-game, like, icon or boat, whatever. It's a little bit below this icon so like right here you'll see it right here we're gonna be like right ish here is where the actual boat that we're supposed to look for is i'm not like 100 percent familiar that's why i still have to use a compass but i like i could probably figure it out it would just take a little bit longer just go straight up and should be here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So you see that? Like right ahead is the item or the boat and see it's a little bit under. It's something that took me a little bit to figure out. So that goes for all of them as well. So you see the icon? Just go a little bit under. I'm also more or less trying to find a... Uh sea monster that does count as well but it's a little bit different the boats have a different pattern that, I mean it's pretty obvious So in case, this is one thing that took me a while to figure out. Like, so for example, if you want to look behind you without moving your boat, just hold down your middle mouse button. Because before, this is what I'd do. I'd be like, yeah, I, where am I? And then turn my camera around and be like, oh, I guess I'm lost. I think that's it. Yeah. Should be it. Gonna need that icon. Alright, so we're in the Rust territory. Is that in Rust or Nine Shark? No, oh, never mind, that's Nine Shark. We're good. Either way, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how we kill it or how I do it. Once you learn how to do Crocs, all the other sea monsters are pretty easy. Imagine being a new player and then you just open up your menu and see all these numbers and you're just like, what does this mean? Yep. Me too. That's me learning the game as well.
Oh dang, someone hit a pen shy weapon. To this day, I still don't even understand why they don't make, you can't get this on your shy season. Like, Why is this one exclusive? It just doesn't make sense to me. All right, where are all the nine sharks at? It's a baby nine shark. Is there like not really worth it? Just leave those alone for the most part. They don't count towards uh, quests if you picked it up. Any minute now should be a little bit under. That's why I turned turned the boat. It's funny how. It's just like, I don't think that's it, to be honest. Maybe it is? Oh, I guess it is. So next target would be right down here. It's going to be a huge boat. It's pretty hard to miss. I heard uh, Tamers, the changes are pretty wild. A lot of people are unhappy with Tamer changes, which is kind of weird. I did kind of read through it and I don't really know too much about it. I just heard a lot of people complaining about it. Then again, I heard of people complaining about literally every class, unless you're Striker. But uh, yeah. I really wish they didn't have the magic resistance on like Striker and Mystic. I wish they would just have generally higher like armor or something against everyone. And make like, magic classes do the same kind of damage as, I don't know, everyone else. So really, it does feel so bad fighting strikers and mystics. I'm like 315 AP with a Nuber, and I have crit crystals in, and I barely do any damage to them, which feels so bad. But like any other class, assuming you don't. Well, actually, against uh, guardians and warriors that have like huge blocks. That's uh, it's also pretty tough, but like strikers, they could just be standing there and I still do no damage to them. At least the uh, warriors and stuff, you have to, you know, hold block.
Really? Alright, game. One more barter stop. Have not found any sea monsters. Baby. a little bit easier with the Carrick, but basically what you want to do is once you fire, you make a hard turn. Once it lands, you do that. Backwards. You kind of... You still do the same strategy with Frigate, it's just your turn speed won't be as high. just starts raining and I can't see anything. This is basically what it feels like grinding crocs because it's like always raining in the area. But you just basically maneuver in circles until uh get it. Also, make sure to watch the uh, current as we were talking about earlier. Yep, that's how you do it. I still, to this day, have, like, no idea what these are for. <laughs> I just put them in my guild bank along with, like, everyone else who does ocean stuff. today. Muskin? Ooh, not bad. Speaking of that, I got stuff. Maybe? Wait, do I? All this stuff that I'm gonna collect forever pretty much. So, yeah. Basically, all of this, each one is 10 mil. We sell it to the vendor. 150 mil. That is what we call a money run. Is it really worth it? I don't know, dude. It's 150 mil in like 30 minutes. Whether you think that's good or not, it's up to you. It used to be like worth doing more often. Nowadays, I just, I don't know. I'd rather grind like pork or something. However, it is like low effort. You just literally go in a circle <laughs> and uh it should be close by is that it that's probably it so yeah going up from this area is with the wind is kind of long So from here on out, it doesn't really matter which way you go. It is slightly a little bit faster to turn down, like if you just go straight down and then go here, assuming your end goal is Ilya Island. 
You could just go straight down, but the water currents are a little bit lower. But ultimately, as long as the number doesn't go like out the roof in red, you're probably fine. But yeah, that has been our barter run. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you definitely tune in again tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about Dark Knight changes um, with the whole reboot stuff and my opinions of it. Maybe we'll test it in some RBF or Battle Arena. And then we'll probably start a new season character tomorrow. I don't know what I want to play, but... Uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll be doing those two things, so tune in again sometime tomorrow. Uh, follow me on social media or Discord. I'll make sure to link the video there just in case, like, the bell thingy doesn't work or whatever uh, on YouTube. So, yeah, just in case you don't want to miss it, follow my social media and all that stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow.